Welcome back to Out of the Rough. I'm Fred Arnold. I'm joined by real estate agent uh, Erica Koslerich Berg. Hello. Hello. Welcome. And you're the broker owner of Triple D Realty. Yes. But uh, also you are involved as the president of the Southland Regional Association of Realtors Santa Clarita Division. Yes, I am. Well, well, welcome to the show. Thank welcome you for having me. You know, I want to talk in this segment about uh, tips, tips for sellers um, when it comes to, to listing your house for sale. And so give me some quick tips on when you're listing your house for sale, some things you need to look out for. Well, what I like to do is I like to tell uh, clients that they should interview a few agents. There's, there's a lot going on with selling a home and it's the biggest investment of your life. So mm -hmm. of course you want someone that you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be uncomfortable with who is representing you. Uh, so it's always a good idea to do that. Maybe ask them what their marketing strategies are for your home and how they're going to work in getting that home sold. Um, a lot of things as well would be disclosures. Do they help you go over the disclosures? You know, there's a lot of legalities involved, especially being a seller. You want to make sure that you disclose everything about the property. And um, that's pretty much it. You know, it's a different way if you are a distressed homeowner. It's, it's a very volatile situation, but you have a lot more questions you want to ask an agent. You want to know if they're short sale certified. It's also a good idea to ask the pertinent questions, really kind of put them on the spot. How much you know, have they done as far as short sale listings? How long has it taken to negotiate that short sale? Short sales, usually you can get approvals 45 to sometimes 90 days. They should not take six months to a year to get done. And what their success rates are. Yes, exactly. You want to know what their success rate are. Do they have 100% success rate in getting the short sale approved or have those properties gone to sale? That's a very important factor when you are interviewing your agents. So let's let's go back to one thing that uh, that you uh, you mentioned, and that is disclosures um, and, and the legal ease, if you will. Is it unreasonable to ask a real estate agent ahead of time, hey, will you spend 30 minutes with me to go over the contract that I'm going to see and make a decision on at nine o'clock at night? Correct. Uh, all of a sudden, where you got to make a quick decision? Great idea. It's it's a great idea, and a lot of times that should be built into the listing presentation. I ask clients, would you like me to? go over a contract of what you should expect. You don't necessarily have to go over each key issue of it, but at least let them know what they're going to expect when an offer is made. Know the key pertinent issues within that contract. The contracts are written by by attorneys, mm -hmm. so of course they're meant to protect both the buyer and the seller. However, there's fill-ins, and so you want to know what those fill-ins are, and you want to know what to expect and what the norm is. I'm telling you what, the, the California Association of, of Realtors contract, if you will, is very uh, understandable and readable. Yes. It's, it's very simple and broken down simply that if you read it and then you asked a real estate professional for some advice, you would pick up on it pretty quick. Absolutely, absolutely. And and then that's what your realtor is there for too, to make sure that you adhere to all of those time frames that are within the contract. It's crucial that you stick to all of those time frames. I want to throw something, uh, a couple things out there, and that is getting referrals from people. And the reason why I'm big on referrals is because it holds that real estate agent or mortgage broker or whatever you do accountable to the person that referred you. Yes. Exactly. You know, they they have put their faith in you, in which case they're handing it on to their family members and, and you're looking out for their best interest and they want to know that, that they're being taken care of. And you know, it's that person's name that is behind you as well. So yeah. you always make sure you take extra care Absolutely. of those clients. Absolutely. And the, one last thing that, that I'll mention about selecting an agent is, are you comfortable with them? What kind of yes. feel do you get? What's your intuition? What's your, uh, what's your gut? Right, right. And you know, and that is because personalities are going to clash. There mm -hmm. have been plenty of listing appointments that the personalities might not have been there or an agent, you know, uh, they liked that agent, you right. know, a little bit better just based on personality, right. you know. And so it's got to be, again, it's the biggest investment of your life. You have to feel confident in what they're saying what they're doing and how they're going to best represent you and that's really what it what it amounts to you know you could go off of who does the best marketing or who might be number one but really it has to be who you're confident with otherwise it's not going to be an easy experience it's not going to be a fun one and mm -hmm. then it falls back onto the realtor unfortunately who do you like and trust i tell you that is really important that's what it comes down to yeah who do you like and trust yes. uh, home inspections uh, just briefly some quick tips on home inspections 
go to your home inspections. <laughs> Show know? up to it. Show up to it. Don't send your agent to do it. Um, I come from a construction background, so could I have gone on my home inspection? Yes, mm -hmm. don't need my husband, but you know, if your wife isn't from a construction background, then you go. Follow your inspector around. Even I follow the home inspector around. Be attached at the hip with them. Let them show you what they're finding. Let them explain to you. If you don't show up and you're reading a report that says something that you might think, oh my gosh, the house is falling down when really it's a $50 fix, but you would have known that had you been there mm -hmm. and had you been able to experience it with the inspector and have them explain to you, they're the professional in this situation. As realtors, we're not, we're not con contractors, we're not licensed. So by following your home inspector, you're gonna really truly have an in-depth knowledge of any maintenance that's deferred that you know is coming down the road or anything that needs to be addressed right here and now yeah. especially uh, health and safety issues great great advice great advice thank you uh, we're going to jump to a quick break and and i'd like to have you back and talk about um, the south Lenos regional association of realtors and some tips that uh, you can give the consumer and, and realtors out there when it comes to your association great would great, love to great. we're going to jump to a quick break and we'll be right back